Welcome back, you're with Big Wheels. Now, part of Benz's range of products are not something that you can particularly park in your driveway. However, they are set to change the way goods are transported across the country. Of course, I'm talking trucking here and doing it the part of Benz way. Driving in a country which is considered to have some of the world's worst roads is no easy task. But trucking? Now that's a whole different ball game. Because let's face it, apart from being passive on safety, the average Indian truck is in no state to be called world class. Nonetheless, trucking is serious, serious business. But there is a ray of hope. Because the world's largest commercial vehicle manufacturer Daimler is here to take Indian trucking to the international stage with their India-specific brand, Bharat Benz. Officially inaugurated on the 18th of April by the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, the Daimler plant in Chennai is the first of its kind in the country that will be the base for all Bharat Benz activities. This new truck brand will manufacture its trucks at the state-of-the-art 400-acre Oragadam plant with an initial production capability of 36,000 units, which will further expand to 70,000 units per year. With production of Bharat Benz trucks scheduled for the third quarter of 2012, the trucks will range from weight categories of 6 to 49 tons. 70 national retailer networks will be set up by the end of 2012 with 100 networks by 2014. And if Daimler has their way, then exports are inevitable in their timeline. Though their product range has still not been announced, what you can expect are trucks that Daimler believe will be more comfortable for the drivers, brutal to run and will boast of state-of-the-art technology, safety and will change the trucking industry as we know it. We at Zigwheels have been on top of this story since the news broke. So when given the chance, we caught up with an ecstatic Dr. Dietro Zetsche, Chairman of the Board of Management of Daimler AG and Head of Mercedes-Benz Cars to talk about the recently launched plant. Dr. Zetsche, welcome to India and Zigwheels. Thank you. Significant that when we met at Frankfurt last year, it was all about cars, cars, cars. But you brought in a brand new truck brand to India and also within your own range have a lot of truck brands now with you. But significantly you brought the Benz name back into the reckoning after having jettisoned it. How significant is that? Well, the Incan truck market is one of the largest in the world. Uh, we are the largest truck manufacturer. If you want to stay in this position, we have to have a relevant position in this market. And the prerequisite is to have plant here, to have a local product. You can't import uh, higher numbers, higher volumes. And uh, therefore, this is a very, very important day for us. It opens us uh, a totally new window of opportunity, uh, and we will use it. 68 years since you, the Mercedes-Benz 3-pointed star, came to India, but 40 years since it's been absent, 42 years. But you have taken the time, quite a lot of time, 77 months, to have a very ambitious rollout in the commercial vehicle sector. You aim to do, as I deduce, 17 new trucks over a 17-month period. This is something which the Indian trucking industry has never seen. Uh, we haven't done that before either. Okay. Um, first of all, as you mentioned, we have this historic foundation. Mm -hmm. And even though it's such a long time ago, our feeling is that the, the Indian customer uh, still likes the name of Benz. Uh, it still resonates. And therefore, I think this Barrett Benz brand is not a new brand in this sense. Um, on top of that, we are very confident about the product we are developing. We think it's superior to its competition, uh, targeting an evolving segment between the basic truck and the premium truck, uh, which is growing fast. So it's the perfect timing for that. All of that together, uh, we feel very strong about uh, their future with this new plant and these new products in this country. Of course, for Daimler, just inaugurating the plant wasn't proof enough of the truck's capabilities. So in a bid to prove their mettle, the company launched a unique, one-of-a-kind journey, the Bharat Benz Power Yatra, that will cover 22 cities and over 7,000 kilometers all along the Golden Quadrangle, showcasing the best of Bharat Benz trucks. Well, for all of you still itching to know about the lineup, Editor-in-Chief Adil caught up with Managing Director and CEO of Daimler India Commercial Vehicles, Mark Listerseller, in Hyderabad to talk about the brand and its product lineup. 1954, a new star broke up on Indian roads and it was crowned 
with a cap on an illustrious name. Tata Mercedes Benz came into the firmament on Indian roads then. The 1210 was an iconic truck which really got the Indian road transport movement going. 58 years to that day and a new identity, a new company, probably only the fifth nameplate in the Mercedes-Benz range of trucks after Mercedes-Benz, Freightliner, Western Star and Fuso. Bharat-Benz has come up from an idea, a concept, incubation and now birth. And Mark, you have driven and seen all the pleasures and the pains and more over the last seven years. As you rightly said, it's a philosophy. You cannot do for six or seven years just a product. You bring a philosophy. So the philosophy you will, will be reflected in one. In the product itself, it is a mixture. It's not a hybrid by definition, but in fact it's a genesis of a new creature. The creature is the cost consciousness of our, of our German and especially our Indian engineers is now reflected in the product together with quality. The quality what you can see here and you can really experience it is absolutely outstanding not only for this market because I don't want to have this differentiation. For India it's good, for the others you have to wait. Sure. No, the truck is good. The truck is reliable. The truck is absolutely fuel efficient. And the good thing is we spoke to the customers. The customers are totally embedded in everything what we did. So this is why we speak about the customer economics and that is the driver and not whether this is nice or not nice or this is fancy. The most important is, is the customer making money with our trucks and that he will do. Philosophies of truck making here, Fuso yeah. which comes up with your lower end full cylinder range and the Axo which is a European oriented truck. And again over there also we see two different philosophies in the engines. Common rail diesel for the yeah. smaller engines and unit injection for the yeah. larger ones. Was it a conscious decision to go like that because they are proven products or do you think they gave some benefits in the Indian way of operation? Fuel consumption was the main driver. What is the engine who can deliver this? This engine can deliver. And the most important thing, this engine from the HT is prepared for Euro 4, 5 and beyond. So this is, it is ready for more. The engine, the 4034 from Fuso, is absolutely reliable, 3.9, you know it, it is absolutely proven in the market, in Indonesia, in Taiwan, in Africa, in North of Asia, and in, uh, everywhere. Not, not in Europe as well. And in Europe. in Europe as well. So now we had a change for Fuso, they have now a new powertrain, but we believe in this because it's a reliable and very, very robust engine. It's a very robust engine. And the good thing with this engine is, this is why we stick to this engine also, it's known in India. And that's a good thing. 75% of the current Indian truck market are supplied by our product. Absolutely. The only thing is, where is now the next level? Where is the success of this product? So we bring the successor and we do it now, this time by ourselves. I have one question which is very pertinent because the fact that you have gone on to 85 to 90 percent localization. Yeah. What was tougher with the Indian component manufacturers? Was it process? Was it price? or was it something else? Process. 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 Can you elaborate Process. on that? Yeah, you know, we call it supplier development, supplier management. It is very often seen as a phrase. In this regard, here in India, it's absolutely to the ground. So that means you have to understand the processes first of your supplier. The hit and run in terms of a prototype part brings you no added value when it can, cannot come repeatedly in the series production. So that means you have to cooperate with the supplier in a steady base, on a steady status. You cannot just say once a year. You have to cooperate with them. So this makes us different. We work with them, we grow with them. And now you can say, yeah, but you enable them also for the competitors. Yes, we do. Because that's the philosophy. It's not only their products. We really will raise the bar in terms of suppliers, in terms of dealers, in terms of service, in terms of products and in terms of thinking about trucking. And you mentioned this, truck drivers. You know that there's a shortage more and more that good truck drivers are no longer willing to take their risk on the road every day. And that is exactly where we come. We say this is safe. You can save your life with that. And you know what? This and cabin you can also is no make your more. life. It makes your life and you save your life. So what more we can do? Well, now the most important aspect is 
the curtains have come up we have seen the products 4400 crores well 90 employees 45 lakh kilometers of testing a power point on every aspect which is superior they say to the competition fuel efficiency which is the most important aspect for profitability and very very vital you are going to see more and more and quite a lot of the same bharat ben sub come september and the entire force will be unleashed so next time you see the horn okay please sign on the highway don't forget to take a picture because soon they might just become a thing of the past well good news all round for truckers but time for another break on zig wheels don't touch that remote control